Well, hello, and today you find me in a really exclusive road in the very heart of Melksham Town. This is Oakwood Drive, and behind me here I have the most deceptively huge five bedroom property. It's detached, it's got potential for an annex, it's still got a single garage, it's got a lovely big wraparound garden out the back, and it's in this really, really quiet private road. Now, just the end is literally the town centre. So, this one is superb for convenience. It's in lovely condition throughout. It's a fantastically enormous family home and let, you need to come and have a look. So let's take you inside and show you some more. Now, I just want to show you where we are in relation to Melksham Town Centre and just that grey car coming up has just come off the marketplace. So it goes to show you how close you are to absolutely everything. And there's this little turning into this exclusive development of a handful of unique properties called Oakwood Drive. And all the way down here, right to the end, past my car that's annoyingly parked on the right hand side. So I can promise you that on a Saturday afternoon, this is still a really quiet location. And here we are, right at the end here. There's just one, two, three, four. I think I counted as I came in. Shouldn't be that hard, but look at this. Fantastic large, five bedroom detached property. So let's take you inside and show you a little bit more. So let's take you inside this absolutely fantastic five bedroom home. And this really is a TARDIS with lots of opportunities for you. So coming in through the front door, we immediately come into this really nice little sort of entrance lobby area, just really useful for dumping off your shoes. You could always put coats up here as well if you wanted to. But what I'm gonna do now though is just turn around and show you that the main entrance halls are really lovely large space. Loads of room in here stairs up to the first floor nice almost like central staircase but i'm before i take you through to the living accommodation just to show you because they made a big effort to tidy this up we have a really nifty shoe cupboard in here as well so lovely big hallway lots of space throughout this house so let's go through first place i'm going to take you is the main living room and what a superb area this is a really lovely room with triple aspects so you've got the windows to the front double doors out to the side and onto the garden which we'll show you more of in a moment and then another window at that end just throwing loads and loads of natural light into this absolutely fantastic space now we've also got a central fireplace there it has got a wood burner in it it hasn't been used for years potentially is easily reinstatable but may need a check on the flu but we have a really lovely decorated room in here double doors out into a really nice decked area which I'll show you more of later but plenty of room as you can see for lots of different furniture in here now the real wow room as you would hope is the kitchen diner and family space and this does not disappoint a really fantastic room with lovely engineered wood floor great big table in the middle here and a nicely refitted kitchen along with two areas as breakfast bars so nice modern gloss kitchen and cream you've got breakfast bar on this side you've got the central island unit as a breakfast bar as well You've got nifty built-in wine racks in the middle there and lots of cupboards. And then on this side, just to give you a quick run through, the range cooker will be staying. And then we also have a wine cooler, which will also be staying. You've got the lovely little sort of like kick plate lights in here. Really nice and current, um, this kind of brick style tiling throughout. Everybody absolutely loves that. And then you have got built-in microwave, dishwasher, and the rest of this is larger cupboards because if I just take you through into this space, behind me we have a fabulous utility room where we've got the fridge freezer up on one side here. In fact, that's just a fridge because that right-hand cupboard there, the bigger one, is actually a built-in freezer. And then you have space for both a washing machine and a tumble dryer and you've got the door back out onto the garden from this end as well. So if you've got muddy kids and dogs, this is the absolutely perfect space to bring them in there and decamp, get the muddy shoes off, get the pools cleaned, and then they're allowed into this space, which is just absolutely stunning. So what a fantastic room this is. So can it get any better? Well, yes, of course it can, because we're gonna come through, again, past the living room and the hallway, and through into this large room at the back, but 
Taking you through here first, this is currently a very large and very spacious kind of playroom, extra hangout space for the kids, a gym. It could be whatever you want it to be. Now, this is where you could create an annex for an elderly relative or somebody who needs to be a little bit more independent. You've even got your own double doors out onto the garden. I'm just gonna swing past the exercise equipment and show you that we have more than enough space. This is probably almost bigger than the living room, but it's very similar size. Lovely big windows to the front. You could subdivide this potentially or have this as a kind of bed sitting room. This would be amazing. And what's really nice is that you also have the door through to the garage. Now you could, and I'm gonna give you a little peek, um, you could potentially keep it as a garage for a nice precious car or you could subdivide this space and create a study if you wanted to, or even a little kitchenette, or there's various options that you may or may not want to take with that. Um, but let's show you through, because we've also got a little shower room, one well, side, a downstairs loo that you could turn into a shower room as well. So there are various options, but equally, as it is, as an amazing kids room, who wouldn't want one of those to be able to send the kids into and keep the adult living room sane and tidy. Just coming through the back here, you also have got the downstairs cloak room, so a little toilet room. You've got the boiler in this cupboard, which is actually quite recent. And then you've got this lovely range of vanity units with nice modern fittings as well. So a really lovely downstairs cloak room. Coming out back through the hallway, past that large playroom, Shoe storage. There's so much I feel I need to recap. So let's take you upstairs and I'll show you the bedrooms to go with it. So having got to the first floor and onto the landing, you'll see that we've got this really lovely spacious gallery landing. Now this house is almost even bigger upstairs. There are five fantastic rooms up here, really generous in size, and I'm gonna take you through them in order that I come across them really, and we'll finish off with the big master suite. So first up is one of the, I would say possibly the fourth bedroom. So a really, really, really generous size. It's actually surprisingly large. You could easily get a double in here, no problem at all. And then if I just come in and swing round to show you that we actually have got a double wardrobe built in at this end as well. But as it's currently used as a kind of nearly teenager's room, this is absolutely perfect the space for a desk as well if you want to, and it, they can grow into that perfectly. So really nice size there. The second of the bedrooms is probably bedroom three. So this is a really nice size double, really generous. You can tell this is more than enough room in here for a double bed, for extra furniture. You've even got a desk at that end. And if I just spin round again, a whole wall there that could house built-in wardrobes if you wanted to. We've got lovely open views across the garden. And although you are looking out on houses, you don't feel at all hemmed in, which is really lovely. There's mostly bungalows behind. Now, it just gives you a bit of a feel for the outside and the area we're sat within. Now coming through this wide landing again, and then we have on our right hand side, the smallest of the rooms. So this is bedroom five. But again, this is actually quite a generous room. It's an absolutely brilliant study. It's a very generous single. You would get a double in here, but you probably would choose not to. And that would make an absolutely superb fifth bedroom, big study, whatever you want it to be, that's perfect. Across the hall from that, is what was originally the master bedroom. So this has the ensuite to the right hand side, which I'll just show you into. So you've got a bath in here with a shower over, and then you've got the lovely tiling all the way around, full height tiling and nice modern suite as well. Now in this room, we've got a big double bedroom. This is plenty of space for a king size bed or maybe even a super king in between the gap there. These are slightly older style of wardrobes, but there's plenty of them. So you've got them all across this side, but then you've also got built in a whole range of dressing tables and further wardrobes on this side. And a quick, easy update would be to pop some paint on them and change the handles and they would be transformed. But we'll leave that for you to decide. But that is a fantastic guest suite or a room for the children to fight over, maybe the eldest would win. Because for a master bedroom, you come down here. Now, I don't like to take people into cupboards, but this is worth looking at. This is a fantastic, large, walk-in airing cupboard. 
loads of space in there, tons of room for storage to the point where you can literally walk in and sort your stuff out. We've got a very large family bathroom over to this side. Again, we've got really nice modern suite, very nicely recently done and totally neutral. So really lovely. You can put your own stamp on things that are nice, crisp and clean and the kind of style that everybody loves. You can't go wrong with this with a double ended bath and a very large shower cubicle over to the left hand side as well. Now coming on through again, this is the master suite. Now this is huge. So again, a very lovely sized room. You've got the two windows out to the front throwing loads of light in and then lots of room for wardrobes as you can see, even though we've got slight kick in the eaves just to give a bit of character and then more than enough room because that is, if you can't tell from the video, a super king bed. So really lovely large suite here, plenty of space. I'm just gonna pan back this direction. You could even have a sofa in here if you wanted to. It's a little dressing table to the left, but you could have a sofa, shades long, you could have your own telly, you could lock the kids out and happy days. So then coming into this absolutely fantastic ensuite, we have a really stunning section here. So it goes all the way over to the right. So you have heated towel rail, you have unit space, we've got the toilet on this side and then we've got a really large vanity unit with the floating cupboards underneath it. So a really nice size space in here with lighted mirror above the sink as well, lots of spotlights. As I said, we've got, I'm just going to come back to show you the space as much as I can. You've got one heated towel rail this side, but then you've got another one on this side. So there you've also got his and hers heated towel rails. These are freestanding cabinets, but demonstrating really well the space with the large velux throwing in lots of light. And just around the corner, a fantastic shower cubicle with, I'll try and get this properly for you, nice big rainfall shower set into the ceiling and a really nice size space. So a really lovely, luxurious kind of um, ensuite to go with that absolutely massive master bedroom. So let's just take you on back through. Now, with all this large accommodation and this lovely private location, so I'll give you a view down the road again from up here, which is much easier to see. You can see we've got tons of driveway space, but just down at the very far end is where the spa road is. So this is really actually very, very central, but you're very quiet down here. It's quite surprising. Let's take you outside though. Let's show you the outside space and hopefully you'll be impressed even more. Having come through the double doors from the living room and the more formal one, we have this absolutely superb decking space. This then becomes your outdoor living space. And as you can see, we are not overlooked at all in this corner. In fact, I think you'll find we're not overlooked most of the property. So really nice big decked area here. Lots of room for the cushion storage unit. You've got nice balustrades around. It just kind of separates off and formalizes this area as a really nice place to have your dining table or your seating area like they have here this is just absolutely perfect now just to show you that down to the side here you have got a side gate back out onto your front drive so a nice little section there and then as we come round we have a little old um, sort of like a little playhouse here which could potentially remain and needs a little bit of love but very useful for storage and then as we just pan back we have a lovely long stretch of garden all the way down to the other side here. So you might be thinking now, oh, is that it? It's quite narrow at the back here and maybe it's not that large. Well, apart from getting past the utility room door, it then opens up even further into this absolutely fantastic expanse of lawn over this side. So there is loads of room. It's a shame the sun's just gone in today because this is a lovely bright and sunny garden. It's totally open, very much not overlooked on this side as well. You've got a nice big shed section, really big shed section tucked into there. It's almost as long as a garage there, which is absolutely perfect for storing all your bikes and all the other gardening equipment. And then just looking back on the house from this angle gives you a good indication of how large this actually is. It's an absolutely fabulous size for bedroom home. So this lovely lush lawn all the way through and around you're back to the double doors where you've got that extra kind of playroom annex room potential and if you did create an annex you could easily separate off the garden around this area here and give that person their own outside space as well. You can even have a little gate with granny's garden or something along those lines which I've seen before. So you've got the double doors into that space you've also got the door back into the back of the garage and this is a great space just for your usual storage. 
So, what a fantastic opportunity. An absolutely beautiful large five bedroom home. I'm tucked away in the heart of the town center and so quiet still. It's really very, very surprising. Lots of options in here to create yourself separate living accommodation, but you can walk to absolutely everything. So that's the other massive bonus with it. You can walk right into the town center in a matter of minutes. You can walk to the gym and the sports center, the community campus, which is absolutely fantastic and very recently built and finished. You've got the gym and the pool there. And then you've got all the supermarkets from Aldi through to Waitrose, shops, schools, eateries, really good places for a drink, really good places for a pub lunch. Everything is available to you in Melksham. And in the future, we've got more plans for more development of the town centre, which will just make it really amazing with riverside shops and cafes and some more residential in that area. So it's really going to transform over the potentially the next five to 10 years. So if you're in the market for a fantastic large family home in a seriously convenient location, yet quiet, surprisingly quiet, then please do get in touch and we'll get you a viewing as soon as possible.